How could God be unworthy? So look at your life this morning. While we're sitting here, ask yourself, is there some area in my life where I'm seeing myself as unworthy? Because if there is, I need to cross it out. It needs to be crucified in order for me to have the resurrection. What else can we cross out? How about uncertainty? How about, how about our doubts and our fears? Because our doubts and our fears won't take us where we want to go. Our doubts and our fears will often paralyze us. And if they don't paralyze us, oftentimes the most that we'll do with them is to peek over into the promised land. To peek over and see what could be possible if only. If only. See, those doubts, those fears have to be crossed out. Jesus told us that. He said, your faith is what makes you whole. So we have to be able to let go of the doubt, let go of the fear. You know, there's something about this teaching that really rings true to me. It's time for me to believe it. It's time for me to stand in it in faith, trusting it. It's time for me to stop looking over yonder at what could be. So I guess the question this morning is, how are we continuing the story? Dr. Holmes said, the resurrection principle symbolizes the evolutionary force, both personal and cosmic, by which the individual rises from gross materiality into the realm of pure spirit. See, and when we understand that resurrection principle, what we begin to understand that the resurrection is not the story about a single man, it is the story about mankind. It's the story about us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this, this, is, this is some good stuff now. See, this didn't end 2,000 years ago. That was just the opening act. What are we doing with it? See, this isn't the story about one man who was having a really bad week and who ultimately raised from the dead. about us. It's a story that tells us that when we roll away the stone of that anger, when we roll away that stone of the resentment, of the uncertainty, the doubt, the fear, the unworthiness, the old experience will have vanished like Jesus in the tomb, bringing forth the new. That's what this morning is all about. That's why I love this day. I mean, we, we Easter's every day, but today we celebrate it. Bringing forth the new. So if we understand the true meaning of the story, it has to be a sequel. 
It has to be a story that's still going on today. And why is that? It's because Jesus told us that we could do the things that he did. How many of us are doing them? See? Sometimes when, when I remind people, even some of the people in this teaching, that we have the power to change our lives, that we have the power to change what's going on by, the way, by, by just thinking in a different way. Sometimes I get the look. <laughs> Anybody ever got, gotten the look? Oh yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. See, I probably don't even have to explain that look, do I? Because we've all experienced it. But I'll tell you what it, what it looks like for me. Sometimes it's the look of annoyance. You know, it's that look that, that says, I'm going through this dis-ease, this lack and limitation, and she's talking about changing a thought. <laughs> or sometimes I get that patronizing look, okay, where they sort of roll their eyes and say, okay, she really isn't in touch with reality, you know. Because <laughs> if she was in touch, she would know that a thought would not change what I'm going through. Hmm? And the thing that I find most interesting is that for many of us, and me included sometimes, where I, where I have to catch myself, is that when something in our life is not going well, we will do, often do anything but what we teach here. And have you ever noticed that? You know, it's like we're going all around in circles and we finally, we stop and say, but wait a minute, you know, if you, if you, see it in a different way, then you will see something different. If you're just willing to look at it that way. But people say, Dar, Dar, do you really believe that a new thought is going to heal my body? Yes, I do. Dar, do you, do you really believe that a new thought is going to pay my rent? Yes, I do. Dar, do you really believe that a new thought is going to change this emotional pain and suffering that I'm going through right now? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, come on, Dar. Dar, what's going on in my life is serious. So was leprosy. <laughs> 